In this video I do another devlog on my game. Where I do spent the progress on my game so far so sit back and enjoy. In this video I will be adding more classes into my game. And there will be a ton of stuff in it. So firstly I add two more classes to my game. Burst and Support. And are made to have a different fighting style to others. But before that let me explain what I mean by classes. So basically what they are is the type of battle group you are. Like tanks having more health. And brawl as base on fighting. And that is classes for you. Time for more thing for the new classes then. So for burst. I made these things. First is this spell book. It cast knockback spells that do little to no damage. Next is the magic wand. This is a rest item. But if you don't know what a reset move is I will explain. It is a move that if an enemy doesn't parry it will make them freeze for a second. Back to the wand. The wand can also block attacks. Well time for the spear. It is able to do 3 short bursts of damage before a 1 second cooldown. Well time for the last thing. The magenta staff. It has, a block move, a parry move and a heavy and normal attack. It will be more good if it is being used in combos. But time for support. Stop. I forgot on thing for burst. And that is a bow. It rapid fire 3 shots per click. Well now it is time for support. First we have this shield. It can shield 3 players at once. And if a friendly player is around and gets a kill the shield player will get some battle score. Next is a healing staff. This can heal friendly players and block enemy attacks. And last but not least is. The dial shield. A shield that can block bullets from two sides making the enemy more likely to do less damage. And that is all for support. Time for some other things. Like how a crocodile cannot stick its tongue out. IDK why I put that there. Time for real thing to do with the game though. So I am gonna make a new kit. This kit is gonna be epic. It gives the player the ability to parry more and have more parry chance. This kit was made to be a menace. Just to kill. But does low damage. And this is the kit and its weapons. And now time to explain what the weapons are. Let's start simple. The gum bomb and the spike bomb. So the gum bomb is like a grenade but works like a sticking bomb, doing less damage. It also slows down enemy players. The spike one works more like a grenade, but shoots spikes on detonation. And that is those things. Time for the next one. And this is the Strykenken. And here it is. It was something random I made. It's a jester item that is op. It is able to do a ton of combos with it and able to use it to stun enemies. One more thing is that it can make them bleed out but has not have a lot of range. And that is it for the strikekin. I will tell you the others in the next devlog. Well this is the end. CYA.